So what'd you think? Hmm? I love it. I love it. I love hearing about how things were and how we relate them to uh, Christ and growing within the word. I, I love it. Yeah. Me too. It seems like when I look back on my life, the biggest turning points in my life is when somebody taught me how that culture that was being written to actually had different views than what we have. They had different, and then you start reading the Bible, and all of a sudden, all these scriptures open up. Uh, you know that that one is one of our real foundational ones, the one that you just taught that we that we all learned many years ago. And then uh, when uh, when we started talking about in our ministry the divine council, all of a sudden. The heavens opened up in the scripture, and, and, and all these scriptures started making sense. So those are, those are just, the Bible was written to a different set of folks than what, right. they weren't American. <laughs> they weren't uh, Western Americans. They were Eastern cultured people, and you have to understand it in the light What's the name of the book? And the uh, uh, customs and mannerisms. Yeah, the other one. Light, light through an eastern window. Light through an eastern window. That's a perfect title, and that's a good <coughs> book too. I, I don't know it's it's excellent. Here. I've got it here someplace, but oh, here it is. Yeah. Yep. It's things like that, and understanding the cultures of the day that really, really open the scriptures up. Yeah. The ring of the children. Christians, the Christians, I mean, those those guys had a Eastern mindset. They weren't Westernized. That's right. Yeah. And it's it's amazing how much different it is than what we think of, because you and I know that the Earth is a sphere. They thought it was flat. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and Christians even help with really, really misrepresenting that because they want to read, they want to read scientific terms of the 20th century, the 21st century, into the Bible. And I'm sorry, it ain't there. God dealt yeah. with those people with what they understood. Yeah, like the thing with women with long hair. Exactly. What it was for. <laughs> exactly. Isn't that funny? That is. The, the earth, as far as being a, a the, having corners, uh, the four corners of the earth. Right. It, yeah. I mean, and, all those things have got to be understood when you're reading through the scriptures. And it really opens the scriptures up to you. It doesn't. And, uh, but they're trying to read our science of the day into the Bible really, really, really brings a lot of misrepresentation of what God was teaching those guys. Yeah. And, yeah. and a lot concerning sin because they thought God did good and God did bad. They didn't know that, that there was a, a devil, um, the evil one. Right. Yeah, even the difference, yeah, it's different between the Christian writings and how Jesus Christ came and uh, basically showed the works, the difference between the works of God and the works of the devil. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Sure. He, uncovered, well, he uncovered it. Yeah, and you pointed that one scripture out tonight, the one that uh, where uh, right. they just assumed that God did, God hurt, God punished them because, right. yeah, and it was actually the devil that was allowed to get into their gate. Yeah, it's, the greatest verse that comes to mind is from Job. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Right, that's what Job said, and that's what Job thought, but Job wasn't right. But how many was, times do we still hear that today? Yeah, yeah, every day. Yeah. Every day, yeah. God's punishing America with this virus because America's been bad. And it's really the devil that's doing the virus because he is bad. <laughs> right. He right. is the author of death. And he's a born liar. One bumper sticker I want to get made sometimes in the future is the Bible is the truth 
of what happened. That doesn't mean that everything with, that happened was associated with the truth of truth. God. Right. But, but the Bible tells you the truth of what happened. And when it says, Job said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, that's exactly what Job said. That doesn't mean Job was right. right. <laughs> and that's where people get misconstrued. Right. And it's, it's just one of the, you know, there's a very good book that our ministry has. It's called um, Don't Blame God. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, it just goes through a lot of this stuff <coughs> about the Old Testament and uh, how God took the rap for everything. Right. Because That's a very healing book to a lot of people because a lot of people have been hurt thinking that God did something bad to them. That's a very good book. Good point. And the, the faith it, is those in Christ Jesus that we have given by the grace of God to go to him with a, 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 a humble heart, ask for forgiveness and be forgiven. And that yeah. is a great honor and a privilege. <laughs> You know, that, that brings up another point, too, because uh, even though we know that God takes care of his children, he doesn't punish them. It doesn't, you know, we, we peg that on everything. It was God who judged Sodom and Gomorrah, too. So God do, it's not like God doesn't do things to destroy evil because he does. And even with his children, with us, he purges us from evil. But uh, but the thing is, is that God does not. He's all. He works to, toward good, and everything that is. He wants. The reason why he purges us is because he wants us to be better. Right. So he wants us to be more uh, in alignment with him because he knows that's what we want too. And eventually, he's going to say, "You, the goats, into the fire." Right. And we as parents can see a, a clearer picture about raising children and loving them unconditionally, but not liking their every action. Great. And uh, how our parents treated us. Yep. Yeah. Well, Stephen's going to be quiet this evening. And no. I miss that. I love you, Stephen. I know when that Stephen's doing well because uh, I post a lot of scriptures. And sometimes I think I do it with uh, you and mine, Stephen, because you'll put like or love on them. And uh, it's like, okay, brother's still in there reading the word. <laughs> Yeah, well, just remember with this coronavirus running around, God's still bigger than the coronavirus. Amen. Amen. And, you know, I mean, fear, there are people using it as a fear mechanism, and it should never be that way because God's going to eventually this virus is going to die and God's still going to be around. The virus ain't going to take God out. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, remember the scriptures where Jesus Christ touched lepers? That's how you got leprosy. He would walk up to them and put his hands on them and pray for them. And, you know, that's, I'm not saying be stupid. I'm just saying, I'm, you know, if you want to wear the masks and the gloves, that's fine. I have no problem with anybody doing that. My daughters do it when they go shopping, you know, for the groceries for the house. But, you know, don't fear it. Because fear will just kill you. 
all by its lonesome. I ask for wisdom and knowledge more than I ever have in my prayer life. Don't know why I didn't do it before because <laughs> I definitely need God's wisdom and his knowledge of what to do, how to do it, and what to say and when to back off. Yep. Age has done for us what good, good sense never would, right? <laughs> And today I was extremely blessed. Uh, we have a, a prayer warrior page that any of y'all, if you have anything that you want prayed for, you can definitely come to and us, us saints will be praying. But a gentleman asked for uh, to be able to listen to God better. Yeah. And revelation. And that blessed my heart so big because I don't know if I've ever asked for that. I might have said it in other words, but you could tell that he, he longed for that closeness. And it was, it was anyway, it was very touching. Yeah. It was I, very touching. I was, you know, re I related a uh, incident to him about that. Um, there was this person, he was studying about healing, and he said, okay, God, I want you to show me how this works. <clears throat> and the phone rang, and it was somebody asking him to minister to them. So he ministered to them, and they got delivered and healed, and everything was great, and he hung up, and he realized, hey, that was God. The timing on that had to be God. And that was... Sure. That was Craig Martindale, who was the head of the Way International for a, a little while. And this was, you know, this wasn't in his early days. This was in his later days. Be so, careful what you ask for. God will give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, God will, and God will open up to you. And it's just a matter of you being willing to listen. You know, not everybody, some people get pictures. I don't. I've never received a revelation that was a pic in the form of a picture. I've, it's always been, Don, go do this, or a feeling that I should go do this. And that's how God, because God works with Mike differently than he does with me because Mike sent Mike and I'm me. And that's the way it is. Yipper, he comes to us where we're at. That's great. If you don't know the word idiosyncrasies, he can't tell you idiosyncrasies. Right. <laughs> Remember that? Yes. Well, the Bible is the, the best book ever written and the most wonderful love story ever written. I look at it as a, very much as a love story. Yeah. It's about the relationship between God and his kids. Amen. Oh, you're back. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I'm stuck in my face and I didn't want anybody to watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> we allow that here. <laughs> Sometimes you'll notice my camera will go off at when one of you is just teaching. I'm probably running off to the bathroom. You got any new points to share with us, John Tudor? Uh, no, I don't. But when you do, we got ears to hear. That's yeah. right. Uh, okay. <coughs> yeah, I've, uh, there's a really sweet gal on the on the uh, website that I go to, whose uh, poems are really short, brief, but are really just edifying to me. 
Uh, you know, I could go there real quick and probably find one or two and read them if you'd like, but uh, Well, I'm, I'm blessed that they bless you and yeah. I, I yeah. do know your heart and you're always looking for goodness and growth. We sure love you all so much. Yeah. That's sweet Amen. of you. Thank you. Yeah, she, she uh, really has an interesting ministry of sorts and the way she writes her poetry is real nice. She has a talent being able to get a, a, a meaning in a very short couple of sentences. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Let me see if I can maybe see if she's got any new ones up there. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, here's one, a new one called Testing. And it goes, uh, the title of it's Testing. The rocky uphill climb is but a small measure. There's nothing in this life that'll be too much pressure. Wait a minute, there's nothing in this life that'd be too much pressure. The choppy waters are but a little tease to make you stronger and bring your soul to ease. The ever coming trials are but a test you see, no matter how great the pile and faith there is victory. The Lord will bring you through the pits and the valleys to bring the best out of you and fulfill your destiny. Amen. Very good. Very yes. nice. I love talent. Yeah, she, she, you know, they're real short, just like that, sometimes shorter, but they make a point, they're real sweet, and they're, you know, she's just got a real way about, uh, <coughs> bring it everything together for in it you know edifying yeah well guys it's getting to be 10 o'clock night night time for bonzo yeah good night time for everybody so sweet healing sleep god bless you and your family amen everyone one be protected and loved up real big thank you dana Love you, brother. Thank, Thank you, y'all, down there in Houston, and and then and then Brooklyn, and yeah, I see you, AJ, the tight end, defensive, and and Stephen and Iowa, man, keep the corn growing there, brother. <laughs> okay, well, in any case, good night, everybody. Love y'all bunches. Thank you. Love you. Thank you.